The fourth sign is the Israeli sign or the sign that borders on Israel. And it's called the abomination of desolation. Where the ordinances of God are replaced and men takes the place of God in the house of God. It will ultimately those who study history said in 70 AD it already happened. Let me give it to you in layman's sense. The man will rise up in the church substitute the place of the offering and worship of God make himself God and at that time the powers will be taken from the church and the whole of Jerusalem will be besieged that's when Jesus said if you are in the market don't come home run to the mountain if you're on top of a tree remain there and they said in 70 AD something like that already happened but you see there's also a prophetic interpretation to it Apart from the fact that historically it has happened, it has also become a spirit in the body of Christ. So when you come to church today and you find one man sit as God and everybody is worshipping him, know that we are in the end time. It is still reflective of the abomination of desolation because what happens to Israel will affect the world. So either it happens historically as it was said or prophetically, but by all means that day will come when the son of wickedness will sit in church and make himself God and men will worship him. Is that not what we are seeing in church today? People lie down to greet pastor, but they squat, they cross their leg to pray to God. Pastor is so big in church that God is obscured. Somebody is preaching, they will quote pastor 1,000 times. They will never quote Bible. They will never tell you God told me. Because pastor has been so magnified that pastor has become God. And then we use the doctrine of honor, weaponize the doctrine of honor to bring that witchcraft covering over people. Today, the preaching of human covering is stronger than the blood of Jesus. It's stronger than the finished works of Christ. I am not against human covering. I know God raises men. And I've taught you before that they are custodians in the body of Christ. Paul said, when I leave you, grievous wolves shall come. So the Holy Ghost is there, but God still uses men. But I am saying there are stratifications in spiritual reality. When man becomes bigger than Christ and what he has done, know that an abomination has entered the church. We exhort men, preach men. People can even fight, lose their salvation because of men. There are many places you go to today, people have fought, insulted, kept malice they allow bitterness to enter their soul not because of the devil but because they are fighting to defend somebody what a shame it's called abomination when you see that this thing takes the center stage in church know that the end has come and i told you before that these things happen when god is no longer building zion and men starts building babel so they will bring doctrines that enslave men. If I tell you what I know, you will shout. There are many places today where a man will tell you, I will remove my name from you. Because his name is now the strong tower. It's not the name of Jesus. I will remove my name from you and you will be finished. I will tell you things that will shock you. You will not believe they exist. Abomination. The end time has come. I was teaching the other day and I told my people, I told them that God said, if a wife gives a vow and the husband says no, God lets him, lets that woman go. Because God recognized the authority of the wife. In fact, the Bible said, as Christ is Lord over the church, that's how your husband is Lord over you. But there are many places today where pastors have more authority on wives than husbands and we call it honor i know the place of a pastor to counsel to guide to give direction but when pastor if i can come to your house and tell you something and you obey me more than your husband then i have not raised you as a child of god i have manipulated you and you are in witchcraft they are signs of the end time and they are in the church that's why the gospel of the kingdom when the gospel of the kingdom comes everybody know god for themselves when a prophet is lying you can tell 
as he's saying one the holy ghost is saying another and you say sir thank you so much for the word you have given but this is what god is saying i just feel you should hear it if the pastor knows that you too hear god he will remove you from that radar of witchcraft abomination historically and also prophetically happening in the church